I've just moved into a new house and it's going to be a couple of days before the internet gets connected from the curb to the, where the network systems are going to get set up. We do have a unified dream machine. Unfortunately, you can't set up a dream machine without an active internet connection. The first thing it asks you to do is log in. The new firmware update apparently lets you do this without an active internet connection. However, this dream machine is a couple of months old and possibly has an older firmware on it. Will we be able to install the latest firmware update and get this thing set up before the internet connection arrives? Or will we have to wait a couple more days? Let's find out together. First things first, we've got to get this out of the box and mount it to the desk bench. Here it is, the Ubiquiti Dream Machine without anything plugged into it. I'm just about to put the power in and you'll see what happens on the little tiny screen here when it doesn't find any kind of connection at all. The next thing I'm gonna try is connect my computer straight to the machine, still with no internet, and seeing if I can access it and how far I can get. The next option after that is to connect it to a phone that's ethernet tethered and connect it to the WAN port and give it everything that it asks for. I'll show you what's happening both on the machine and on my computer when I try and connect to it so you get a full overview of what's happening when you do try and do this for the first time just like I am. I'm not going to take you through every single spec of this machine or what comes in the box. There's plenty of videos out there on what the Ubiquiti Dream Machine is all about. This is simply the information that I can't find anything beyond three years ago of what happens when you try and connect one to your network without any sort of internet connection whatsoever. There's a lot of forums about people complaining that they can't connect or they can't get too far well, there's got some options let's see how far we can get first up is we turn the power on and the machine is booted there is a little quick start guide that comes with the box so let's go through that and follow some instructions the quick start guide essentially says connect it to the internet connect it to some wi-fi device and then load the app up on your phone to get started. It comes with a QR code to scan with your phone. We can't do any of that because we don't have an internet connection. Currently, as you can see, it's showing a status bar and saying that the Dream Machine is starting up. It's now telling us to plug a network connection into the WAN port and connect it to the internet. We're not gonna do that just yet. We're gonna see how far we can get without an internet connection. My next step is to plug it straight into the PC and see how far we can get through a URL. So we'll just plug the yellow cable we have into port one, see what happens. And it's lit up. So the computer is talking to the Dream Machine. Let's see how far we can get it via a URL. The default address for the Dream Machine is 192.168.1.1. Let's see if we can set this up. So the first thing it's telling us to do is plug in the internet, but it's giving us the option to set up the console offline. So let's set that. It comes up with a bit of information of what we can't do when we do set up this thing offline. That's fine. We don't have any options at the moment. And now it's time to name our console. And we gotta go to Craig.
And there we go. So it looks like this is a win. We've got a dream machine that is at least six months old. The firmware was updated as far as I know in February. It is currently the end of March and this console was bought last year around October. So it's been sitting in the cupboard for quite a long time. I suspected it had the older firmware on it, but it still allowed me to set the device up without having to connect to any type of internet. Thanks for watching this little tidbit. I thought we'd hear a few snags, but considering the age of the device and the current firmware state, anyone that's buying a dream machine in 2024 should also be able to set it up without having an active internet connection. This is great for novice users, but also for advanced users that want to work on site rather than having to take the thing home to set it up and then have to bring it back into wherever they're setting it up. Thank you for watching.